Okay, it looks like our book cloth is dry, so I've already marked it for where I need to cut it. So that's what I'm going to do. Start on these sides because then I'll just want to cut them all loose. Just using a craft knife oh, to turn my ruler over because that cork kind of interferes with what I'm doing here. There we go. That was pretty easy. Okay, now we just need to mark these uh, to fit on our binding. So this one, I only need to mark off one inch on each side. on each side and then a half of an inch at the top. That's the part that's going to wrap around the book. This side looks a little wacky, so I think I'll mark it up. Now, I'm not sure if this half inch is going to be enough. I'll have to try it out on the, on the cover because I think this canvas is a little bit thicker than the book board. So I just want to make sure I have enough to wrap around it. So let's see. It should cover it. It should cover it good. So that'll work. Trying to see which edge I think looks the best and which one I should wrap over. I'll wrap this one.
see that? Moved. Okay, I'm not gonna draw those lines down the side because I think I can just load them up by the top. Okay, now we're gonna attach the book binding to the book cover. And uh, the first thing that we need to do then is, let's see, pretty sure these need to be turned upside down here. Make sure I've got the top and the top here. And We'll need a spacer, which I didn't have the spacer that she made, but I just have this little quarter inch dowel here that's square. So we'll put that in. Mm, actually, no, <laughs> because I'm going to be using glue and that's going to be stuck down here. So let's put it on here. My dowel in there. Sure. I'm lined up. Now she used weights, so uh, I have these for weights. Hopefully they'll work. And this is just basically to hold it, hold it down, keep it from moving. Hopefully the, that works. Might have to move that other one because I think it might be a little bit too, too big. So, next thing is we're going to have to put some glue on these. Now, I didn't have, I searched high and low for PVA glue and I could not find it. So, I'm using good old Elmer's. And uh, I do have a brush and a piece of paper. It on here and brush it around. No point in me dirtying up a bowl. We want to get a pretty good coat, I think, so make sure we go out to the edges on this one. Now I'm going to do just a little bit more. I want to make sure it sticks good. Out to the edge on that one, didn't I? Okay. Well, and we're just going to place this right here as evenly as I can get it. Got a little inch out there. Let's see. See how that looks. Okay, now I needed to use oh the folder. I don't actually have a bone folder, but I have this from working with clay, so let's see if this will work to bring that paper down into, into that groove. That works pretty good. Hopefully. <laughs> looks okay. Looks 
okay. It does not look as good as hers, but we want to pick this up right away so it doesn't stick to my table. On my mat, I'm going to do the second one. And like I said, I'm working on the inside here of these covers, so... Mm, I'll turn it around again. A little nerve-wracking for me. My chair squeaks a lot. Sorry about that. Okay. An area that doesn't have glue on it already. I like this idea of using the brush to spread the glue. Never actually had occasion to do that before, but that works really well. Try this one a little bit of a different tactic this time. Put this side down, then we'll go down in the groove. And then we'll push this foot cloth down. It might work better for me. Now, we're supposed to let these dry for a little bit, so let me do that. Okay, we'll put the second half together now, or the other piece on the back side, or the front side, rather. So, same process, I guess, is... Uh, Glue this. And we're not going to go out to the edges again. Now I had to cut my little bits off of the other one because uh, I wasn't supposed to leave that inch on the sides of the small ones. <laughs> so anyway, I just cut those off. That wasn't that wasn't a big deal. <laughs> I feel like it wasn't. This to stick and so far it seems like it's working out really well as far as sticking here you know, I'm probably not doing the greatest job here but it is doing what it's supposed to do okay put this down this way because I need to see my lines that looks good I'm going to turn it over run that blue folder down in here again so I can stick both of those pieces together Make sure they 
good and stuck. Stuck together. Maybe they are. off here and I don't have one of her tools that she made just make sure you come out a quarter of an inch so mm, I do just a little bit more because I don't want to mess it up now I actually should not be cutting on this mm, I'm not going to do that Where's my cardboard? Oh, I made a big boo boo on my table. Let's cut it this way instead of that way. Okay, cut that corner off. This corner off. Mm, I'm measuring that one. This is some pretty tough stuff once you get it all put together. Well, so far, I think it's not looking too bad.
I finished the back cover of this scrapbook last night. Uh, I did make a video on it, but it was totally out of focus, so I'm not going to bother with that one. And uh, so I just wanted to show you how it turned out. And in case you're wondering what this is, um, this I used to weight the books down, and it's just the screen uh, from an old laptop. And I think that'll come in handy for some other projects, so I'm keeping that. And uh, so here is the back cover of the scrapbook. And this is just some uh, scrapbook paper that I glued on, uh, just using the Elmer's glue again. Um, I think I may have gotten a little bit, trying to move slowly here. I think I may have gotten a little off here, uh, up at the top, but I think it, it turned out, it turned out fine. And then let me turn it over carefully. So here is the back side of that. And I just uh, covered those raw edges on the actual book binding up here. Uh, the next thing that we'll need to do is just poke those holes through that we had already drilled in this canvas. And uh, then that'll be all ready to put together once we get the clay made on the cover and uh, get our pages in. So we'll be starting that soon. So I hope you'll join me for that. And thank you for watching.